Give it up, you're done, nobody cares. Longtime Kansas guitarist Rich Williams talks about the low point of the band. What got him back in the band? Why did he come back? Well, he went off. <clears throat> well, there's always the notion that I can do this. I can be a rocker. And these guys are holding me back. And so he went off to be, you know, a, a rock star. And he put together a, a really good band, with Mike Slammer and Billy Greer, Tim Garrett, who was a friend of from Topeka. And tried, you know, with a couple albums to do that and went broke. You know, it never really caught on. Meanwhile, we had been, Phil and I were told by the record company, we, we were owed like four records. And they just, we had a meeting at the Hotel California with the, the big wig. And he just sat down and said, guys, give it up. You're done. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Your management doesn't care. Booking agents don't care. You, you have no fans, all the, you know. And so we walked out of there with our asses handed to us. We didn't quit. We didn't give up. But we didn't have a team to put on the field either. Right. Steve was in streets. You know, uh, Carrie and Dave were gone. So we just kind of kept that under our hat and we just waited. Well, streets eventually died and meanwhile steve morris you know three times in the, the guitar player hall of fame and a legend was he was we, we were based out of georgia steve was based out of macon just outside of atlanta and you know he was a peer he was a you know part of the the local music scene and phil just said you know let's maybe try to get get this started again and so Phil approached Steve, what would you think about? And Steve didn't have anything else to do. Sure, let's, let's give another shot because his nemesis was Carrie and Carrie wasn't around anymore because Steve didn't want to sing Carrie's songs anymore. Meanwhile, you know, Dave Hope had kind of left with him. We need a bass player. Steve goes, well, Billy Greer, he's a great singer. You know, he's with Streets. He's going to be looking for work. So cool, Billy's in. Um, and then, it was, you know, talk, let's, let's talk to Steve Morris. He's a fan. And the dregs have broken up. And boom, we had a band. And so, like that, suddenly, we were back with a working unit. And uh, all of a sudden, we're with a new record company, with MCA. And Kansas is now back. Unfortunately, MCA... Uh, things weren't going well for that company. And finally they had their bloody Friday where they just slashed everything. Uh, and we died with it. And that was the end of that. The Steve Morse went on to deep purple mm -hmm. and we had to reinvent ourselves again. You know, then come the nineties when classic rock had fallen to its all time low. And now we're slugging around in a bus making 15 grand a night playing little bars, you know, Kansas and jello slide, <laughs> you know, and, but we, we, yeah, I, I can't imagine doing that now, but at the time it was just like, of course we'll continue. Of course we'll keep doing this. You know, I'm waiting for something to change. Um, uh, and the, the, Robbie came back for, that was with David Ragsdale. Then Ragsdale left and, Robbie came back for a while. Then Robbie had to go, and Ragsdale's back. Uh, we'll have more from Rich Williams coming up in the next few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Remember, you can help our channel. There are links in the description. Join our Patreon. Check out our podcast. There's all the information in the description, and, of course, all the latest from Kansas right there for you as well. This is Rocky Street Music. Take care of yourself.